Hey, groundskeeper. Ah, oh, look around you. See how the people brighten the streets with their very presence. It is good to have this place inhabited once again. Where did everyone come from? Your actions have caused beneficial reactions. Those you saved found others on their way to the city. And the mages have opened stable portals to Nern, bringing aid to Cold Harbor. The city thrives thanks to you. Why was I summoned anyways? King Dinar and Varnus have begun to rally the troops. They have called for a council to meet here in the Hollow City. There are decisions to be made. Plans to draw up. The time for war fast approaches. And we need to be ready. Are there any others out there that uh, need to be rescued? I sense other lights trapped in the darkness. Their exact locations are hidden from me. But I can hear their desperate pleas for help. You must choose. Will you seek out more allies? Or will you allow the war council to begin? Honestly, in a normal gameplay, I would probably go out. Well, there's no probably. I would definitely go back out and see if I could find everyone that I can, right? But I'm trying to get through the main story so I can start getting to the DLCs and then come back to like the rest of the content, right? Uh, so I'm just going to go straight into the war council. Uh, for now, but where are King Dinar and Vanis? You shall find the Aeliad King and the Mage inside the cathedral. They await your arrival. Once you enter the cathedral, the preparations for the final assault to save Nern will begin. Oh snap, here we go. This is, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. The Chapel of Light. That's a pretty cool name, not gonna lie. Hello? Hey, what's up, King L Dinar? Welcome, friend. Hi! We need to discuss the preparations for the coming assault, but I wanted to wait until you arrived. Do you have any questions before we begin? Do we really need to attack Molag Ball? We need to end the plane meld before Nern is destroyed. To do that, we must deal with the planar vortex. To reach the vortex, we need to cross the chasm and get through whatever defenses the Dark Lord throws at us. I fear battle is inevitable. Well, let's start the council then. Well said, friend. Uh, please, hold your questions until everyone who wants to has had an opportunity to speak. After that, we can debate the details as you see fit. <clears throat> All right. Attention, please. I have called you all here because the moment of destiny fast approaches. The great shackle has been destroyed, but not before a planar vortex was established. We must destroy this vortex before it sucks the very essences of Nern into Cold Harbor. The Fighters Guild shall deal with the Chasm's defenders, but blades have little power against magic. And that's where my mages come in. Our scouts report that some kind of magical fixtures block access to the path across the Chasm. Mages there already work on a way to overcome these fixtures, and we are prepared to lend our strength when the main force arrives. A sound plan plays to our unique strengths. But this one wonders, what if the mages can't overcome Molag Barl's magic? What a ridiculous question! <laughs> of course my mages can overcome this magic. Ah, magic, the solution to all life's problems. I love magic, it's so magical. <laughs> I have absolute confidence in Vanus and his mages. Thank you, your lordship. But to be honest with you, I'm not feeling as confident as Vanus about this. We shall fight with all our strength. 
There is no other option. Lives will be lost, but hopefully a world will be saved. Know that the chasm is only the first stage of this battle. The planar vortex abides within the very heart of Molag Baal's lair. Oh, this just gets better and better. Darian, <laughs> mind your tongue. Darian only seeks to lighten a tense situation. Still, we have to try. To do nothing is to doom Tamriel to certain destruction. Well, when you put it that way, there are a lot of lovely ladies that need to be saved. Yes, <laughs> well, be that as it may, we launch our assault on the chasm immediately. The king needs to talk to the champion, and I must discuss some final details with the mages. The rest of you have your own preparations to see to, I'm sure. I'm assuming I'm the champion of the world. All right, anyways. It is settled. We shall cross the chasm and make our way to the planar vortex at the heart of Molag Baal's realm. Now that you know the plan, I have a special request to make of you. Go ahead, I'm listening. This mission needs a leader. I want you to lead the assault across the chasm. We have asked so much of you, and you have already accomplished the impossible. But you are one of a very small few that I would trust with this task. Okay. And of course. You, out of there. It is settled. This, I knew we could count on you. You have never disappointed me. But there is so much left to do if we are going to win this war. Still, with you leading the charge, we have an excellent chance to end the plane meld and save our world. Explain the plan again, your highness. With the combined forces of the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, we must take the battle to Molog Baal and reach the portal to the Planar Vortex. It all starts at the chasm. Scouts are already in place, gathering information ahead of your arrival. Tell me more about the chasm. It is a narrow, well-defended span of rock. Swarming with Daedra and dominated by a gatehouse that blocks the way into Molag Baal's personal domain. Cadwell knows the region. He's a strange fellow, <laughs> but I trust him. He's waiting for you at the chasm. I'll find Cadwell and uh, we'll cross the chasm. Crossing the chasm? That's the name of this quest? Okay. So, we're definitely taking the battle. Forward now. So let me see where this is exactly. It's literally just right here. Let's take pony. Wait, now that the horde, now that the people are here, let's go to the stables first before anything. That hurt. God, this horse is so slow. It, it's it's actually it's it's legitimately painful to see. Are you the stable master? You are not the stable. Ma You're the stable master. Hello. I left my family back in Windhelm to come here. <clears throat> I hope I don't live to regret it. Why do you think Molag Ball leaves uh, the Hollow City alone? That's a great question. The legend says that Meridia herself pushed this city in the cold harbor and placed spells around it to keep it safe from the Lord of Brutality. But maybe he just doesn't want to. I mean, the prior seems more probable in this case. Let's go ahead and train that real fast. At least now we're at 10. And then we'll go uh, continue on with this quest. Crossing the chasm. Let's go ahead and do that. This feels like super far. It's not. It's literally right around the corner, but still, regardless, all right? Still feels very far. And that's mainly because my little pony here is incredibly slow. Hey, what's up, Caddy? Well, 
this has my knickers in a twist. We have a perfectly fine army, but what good is it? Sitting around this side of the chasm, twiddling its collective thumbs. It's rather embarrassing, if truth be told. So what's the situation? The situation? We're well and truly flummoxed. Before we could cross the chasm, before we could confront Molog Dunda, we were stopped by a few irksome focus stones. The wee ginger mage says we need to break the stones, but good luck with that. Uh, break the stones? Sounds easy. What's the problem? Nothing <laughs> other than the multitude of Dramora sitting on top of them. I could handle it Touché. myself, but I didn't want to make the rest of the troops sad by showing off my awesome battle skills. <laughs> they're, they're used to that from you. All right, that's funny. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get rid of my two-handed weapon for another weapon. It just sucks because I'm gonna have to basically train another skill. Where's my skill at for two-handed weapons? Oh, it's 50. But what would I go with? I'm not 100% sure because I don't, I don't, I don't really like two-handed weapons to be honest. It's not really my forte, you know? Talk to who? Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's that's it. Okay, so I definitely missed a conversation. Time out. All right, give me a second. Go, uh, Gath, Gathwin. Strange night. Says the oddest thing. But Vanus and the king seem to trust him, so what can you do? You must be the champion that King Dianar said would lead us across the chasm. Uh, I'm enlightened. Uh, what have you learned about the chasm? The chasm presents a formidable gauntlet of defenders and fortified installations. The first major obstacle is the portal that provides access to the chasm's upper tier. We have no chance of controlling that portal while the focus stones are active. Uh, tell me about the chasm's defenders. <coughs> we spotted Dramora down below. Nasty creatures. From the sophistication of the portals they're using, I expect they can also throw Zivali, Orgrims, and even Scamps at us. A pack of Scamps can take down a lone warrior surprisingly quickly. <laughs> what happens after I destroy the Focus Stones? We take control of the portal to the upper tier and push forward. We haven't been able to scout the higher region. But Cadwell claims that Molag Bal's daughter, Molag Grunda, commands the gatehouse. Ah, spoiler! We're gonna end up fighting Molag Grinda, or Grunda, whatever her name is. Molag Bal has a daughter? According to the legends, yes. She's a winged twilight. Strong, disgusting, and in charge of a small army. This won't be easy. Darian says he's gonna charm the wings right off her. I'm not sure I like what he's insinuating. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't think I like what Darian is insinuating either. That sounds... <laughs> yeah, that sounds... Oh, uh... Sounds disturbing. And I guess we'll leave it there. Oh, no. Switch. You! I guess I could just stay here. All right. The battle is won. Yeah. Uh, hold on. What do I have on my body? I have twice born. I really need to upgrade practically everything. I need a monster set too. Maybe something to help with sustain. Are we getting... We're getting jumped. Nice. I definitely didn't push a button that second time, but okay. We'll go with that then, shall we? Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> so that's just a mage. 
How many places do we have to go to? Two. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of two-handed weapons. I, I'm really not. I know they're good and a lot of people like them. And they're great in PvP. But, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of them. I didn't want to talk to Bastion. Uh oh. I mean, ultimately, it's not a bad build, this. But, uh. That's the last of them. It's just. I just don't like the fun factor with two handed weapons. And I know I'm in the minority because a ton of people love them. Just not me. Oh, I thought you were dead. Dead now, Bastion. You're an absolute monster, man. If you ever needed a reason why you should stay, that's why. You're an absolute beast of a man. Okay. Hey, Caddy. Good show. The portal belongs to us now. Sir Darian and that lovely lizard have gone on ahead. I think he might be a bit intimidated by our prowess on the field of battle, and he's trying to compensate. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me, to be honest. <laughs> Darian is that type of person. So, we'll just, uh, we'll just go with his word on this. Any idea of what should I expect up in there? Is a cheeky one, and she knows we're getting close. She's summoning reinforcements faster than Darian can kill them. You'd best get to it. I need to ask you something else. By all means, do you want to know how many Daedra can dance on the head of a pin? How I managed to say so cheerful, even in the most perilous of circumstances? What's my favorite color? <laughs> Ask away. <laughs> he's so, he's so dumb in the best possible way. I love this guy. Uh, what can you tell me about, about Molag Grunda? Molag Grunda? A large woman with wings? Bit of a temper? Guards the gatehouse? I hear that she's the daughter of Molag Ball, if you can believe that. He never struck me as a family man, but who am I to judge? Uh, why do you know so much about Cold Harbor? It's my home, old chum. Has been for years. I know every wondrous nook and cranny. Beautiful place, full of fascinating creatures. Of course, they often try to kill you, but that's mm -hmm. the challenge of it, isn't it? You know, I'll take your word on there, buddy. But uh, I, I, I don't want to know personally about the experience of living like that. I would like to hear, hear it from you, but I don't, would not want to experience it myself. So I'm ready. Let's go. Second tier. You two guard the portal. No remorse. Okay. The reinforcements must be cut. I'll scout on ahead. We need to know what we're going to face at that gatehouse. Okay. Too easy. I guess we'll go here first, close the east portal. He escaped me. Didn't escape me that time. Oh, hello. You know, this is actually a pretty good... Ow. Come on, buddy. What you got on me? Absolutely nothing. That's the second time he hit me. It's all rude. Come on, buddy. What you guys got? Bastion, get out of my way, bro. I'm trying to talk to... Never mind. Oh, that's... That's Darian. Darian is literally helping us fight here. I'm just now noticing that, by the way. Watch and learn, my friend. Oh, shut up, Darian. Okay, go ahead. 
You look at him scratching his head. <laughs> he did it. God, that was... That was 100% luck, Darian, but okay, sure. I won't take your thunder. So we got one more to go? Looks like this guy, or girl, I don't know who it is, took care of the enemies for me. Haha! -ha. There's also a sky shard here somewhere. Might as well pick it up while we're here. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys first. You know what? You're not gonna hit me that time, buddy. Is... Is... Wait, Darius not even here. Ow. Dude, Bastion's ultimate is so strong. <clears throat> Murelda. This is a named en uh, enemy. These creatures do not frighten me. Let us close this portal. I mean, it's green, though? I'm gonna take the ring for now because but I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna use it because it's cut it's green you know I like purple stuff um yeah <laughs> I thought let's help this guy real quick Or girl. For Narnia! Who knows, maybe I'll find some good loot too. Sick. You suppose? Bastion, you gotta keep your head up high, man. It's not over till the fat lady sings. And it appears to be three fat ladies on the floor right now. Alright, that's it. You're welcome. No need to thank me. Cross the chasm. How do I get to the chasm? Do I just... Oh, well. I almost led myself to danger. Well, I digress. I did lead myself to danger, but I've recovered from that danger. By being... Oh, that's a... That's, never mind. I thought that was an enemy. Alright, leave me alone. Be nice to me. God, I love the... I love the audio in Cold Harbor. I got the barrier down. Molag Grunda has to know we're coming. The chasm is nearly <clears throat> ours. Okay. Hello. I think our friends have the chasm well in hand. What say we pop in for a chat with Molog Grunda? Yeah, I mean, I'm down. Ready when you are. Right, we control the rest of the chasm now, and the troops have matters well in hand. Let's go and have a sit down with Molog Grunda. She's always good for a laugh and a song. What, what can we expect in there? From Grunda? Rudeness, hostility, sarcasm, and uh, most certainly a large amount of open hostility. I've no idea how she keeps house, but I imagine we'll find the usual daydream touches that make Cold Harbor feel so warm and inviting. He literally said hostility twice, but I'm ready. I can't wait to see Mola Grunda's face when she sees us. She and I go way back, you know. <laughs> Once we get inside, we cross one little bridge to reach the gatehouse. Follow me. Lead the way there, buddy. Oh, I'm about to say, are you going or what? Grunda's gatehouse. Well, that sounds interesting. 
After you, bud. Come on. There's a trick to getting into the gatehouse proper, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. Not to worry, though. I'm sure it will come back to me. I sure hope so, man, because we're putting ourselves in danger. In harm's way here. Nice. Those little oh, moves. Cool. I remember now. There's a flywheel in each of the side antechambers. We need to start them spinning to open the main door. So we there's two of them. So we were going the right way already. Nice. Ah, it's all coming back to me. There's a lever across the chamber. Just give it a good tug, and that flywheel will be spinning in no time. Sounds like a plan. You're not gonna win there, bud. Thank you. Yeah, I don't I don't even like this heal either. Like that means it heals. The final heal? I don't understand how- I don't know. I don't really like Rally. I don't know. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but... Because I like burst heals. I like to like- if I'm- If I'm taking damage, I like to heal right away, you know what I mean? Or hell, even a- A heal over time. Uh My dots or my arrow barrage definitely was pointless. Dunzo. So we got one more bastion to go, right? The opposite side? Oh no, we go left now. I thought we were supposed to do two different ones. Or did I do the other side already? I don't remember. Alright. Man, he is 100% psychotic. But it's okay. I love him. I wanted to hear what he said. Tiny? Matter of fact, I did. Uh, oh. Hello. Mighty convenient. What's up, broski? Drop it. To be fair, me either. So where do we go from here? Gathwin is rounding up the troops. I asked her to keep an eye on Darien as well. He's a terror with the sword, but sometimes I think he takes too many chances. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We have things to discuss, and I find these danger calls extremely distasteful. Sounds like a plan. Cold Harbor, you say? Back at it again. So, is this... Is this... Are we gonna take out... I don't know what we're doing right now, right? I'm so completely lost. Hey, Vanis. <coughs> While you were lollygagging, we secured the area. Does he know I'm talking to you guys? Weird. So the chasm is clear then. You did well, my friend. Thanks to your efforts, we control the chasm and can freely move troops between the Hollow City and the front lines. Take a moment to collect your thoughts, then come see me again. This gauntlet we must run is far from over. Okay, I had a feeling that I was, uh...
topped off, so let's go ahead and complete. As you're ready, we have another mission that could use your unique approach. What's the problem this time? Vampires. The region beyond is crawling with them. Worse, anyone we send in there is turned into one of the foul monsters. And do you see the structure that looms on the horizon? I believe that's one of Molag Ball's infamous harvest hearts. So what do I need to do? Eager and confident. I like that. I no big deal. I need to collect blood from the vampires. It's an integral component in the pacification ritual I will perform. Use the blood to mark their layers. I'll meet you near the heart when you're finished. You can count on me, bud. What are you still doing here? The vampires won't bleed themselves, you know. So why do I need to collect the vampire blood? I have my preparations to deal with, and you have yours. The first step is to make sure the ritual targets the correct creatures. Marking the vampires' layers with their own blood will guarantee this. And how will the spell pacify the vampires? In the most expedient manner possible. The ritual unleashes a magic that tracks down the blood and targets the creatures connected to it. And then what happens? Then the vampires will become mindless beasts, no longer capable of posing any threat. I've been developing this ritual for years, but I've never had the chance to test it until now. If this works, it could be a major breakthrough against vampirism. Yeah, you don't say. Why is this place called the Orchard? I can I can guess why. Just another of Molog Ball's clever witticisms, I suppose. It's an orchard from which he plucks the fruit of his vampiric creations. Or something poetic and disturbing like that. But we have a ritual to prepare for. Tell me more about the Harvest Heart. I've read accounts of these foul artifacts. Molog Ball uses them to enslave large communities and to empower specific parts of his divine portfolio. <clears throat> In this case, I believe the heart is greatly increasing the rate at which the vampirism spreads. Can we destroy the heart? Not easily. But that's where my ritual comes in. By the time I finish casting it, the heart will be no more, and the vampires will no longer pose a threat to our forces. Good. It's a good thing. So we got a lot. We have five things to hit. Five? Four. Four things to hit. Discovered the orchard. Well, luckily... This place doesn't look very big. Yeah, I like I like the bow. I'm not gonna lie, the bow is pretty good. That's how you got? So this is one. And we're collecting vampire. Okay. Was that it? That was easy. So in the, in the process, we also have to... Collect vampire blood. So that was two. Whoops, too early. Come on, Bastion. Lay down the law. Good job. No, thank you. So that's two of this, right? Vampire layers. Does this count? No, that's a harvester. I'm just gonna stay, that was an accident. I'm just gonna stay on route. That way I'll destroy all these guys. That should be, okay, so that's three. We need one more vampire. So you got chump change. That's gotta be it, man. It is. I don't see it on the top right. Goodbye. Wish I had stamina to get out of that, though. You don't know what you're doing. Morlock Ball is the enemy here. Not to my children. Sick. Yeah. 
And then this is the third. No, get off me. Be nice. You don't deserve my soul. I will eat yours. I mean, what? Okay, so we got all the vampire blood. We just need one more vampire layer. This is a lot easier than expected. Which is not surprising because... This guy does pretty decent damage. Vampire blood. Wait, where did the vampire blood go? Not entirely sure. Also, where's my quest marker? There it is. I was lost for a second. But now I'm found. Hey, hello, guys. Haha. -ha. This is it. Dunzo. Last one, baby. Let's do this. Vanus is gonna be- wait, I thought I pushed it. Vanus is gonna be happy. Locate the Harvest Heart? That sounds like a boss. Is that a boss? Oh god. Run! Well, alright. Bastion. I need your assistance here. You're the king of DPS compared to me. Um... I'm horrible at it, to be honest. Oh, there's stairs right here. Should probably utilize those, but first, let's get this rune stone. Ooh. Rakunda. Rakuda. I don't know where I got that from. Haha! -ha. That's over with, I suppose. You suppose, Bastion? Back, foul temptress! I'll hear no more of your lies! Such a stubborn elf. Perhaps your companion will be more willing to listen to reason. Because of course, we are always the mediator in every situation. So Virgar the Red. I hope that you'll prove to be more reasonable than your companion. She looks cool. My offer makes perfect sense, considering the alternatives. Uh, who are you? Some call me the Crimson Major, others the concubine of Cold Harbor. I am an elder vampire brought to this new life by Mulag Vol. These are my children, but they have been enthralled by the Lord of Brutality. So you're telling me you're the victim in all of this? My children protect this orchard because Mulag Vol commands it. They aren't evil, they're slaves of the Harvest Heart. Instead of destroying them, help me set them free. Imagine an army of vampires that owes you a favor. What are you suggesting? The ritual the elf plans to perform will drive my children mad. But there's a better solution if you're willing to listen to reason. Molag Ball is the real enemy here. Let me help you free my children from the Dark Lord's thrall. Then we both win. Tell me more about what you're proposing and then I'll think about it. I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Molag Ball. So considering the fact that we are going to need people, her option makes a ton of sense to be honest but I'm not sure if it's the best choice let me talk to Vanis before I make a decision of course take all the time you need it's not like you're trying to save the world from Molag Ball or anything like that oh wait that's exactly what you're trying to do I shall await your decision with bated breath you know, you need my help more than I need yours. Okay, well. Okay, that's probably debatable, but still. Venice. You can't seriously be considering her proposal. To I am. <laughs> She's a confounded vampire for Magnus's sake. 
You don't think we can trust her? She's an elder vampire. Setting those monsters free will be like ringing the dinner bell in a Nord feast hall before the meal is ready. Her so-called children see us as food and nothing more. The only logical solution is to perform my ritual. Let me talk to her once again. Really? You need to consult with a monster before you agree to help the great and powerful Vanus Galerion. Oh, very well. Do what you must. I'll wait here until you reach a decision. I'm legitimately torn. Have you considered my proposal? Will you help me save my children and set them free? Tell me more. My own no, I'm just gonna side with Vanis. I'm sorry, but... I feel like that's the best. I hope you turn the vampires into mindless beasts. Of course you will. No other decision makes any sense. I'll follow you into the ritual sites. Protect me while I cast my spells. And we'll have the army on the move again in no time. Well then, stay close and follow me. I will not stand for this. I won't let you harm my children. Yes, you will. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to have to fight her, aren't we? Haha. -ha. Is that all you guys got? Haha! -ha. They have been destroyed. You know, light attack weaving actually helps with sustain a little bit. Oh god. Bastion, I so need your help on this one. Are they coming from here? Or are they coming from anywhere? From here it is. Take some poison there, buddy. Shake it off. Ow. You can do it. I know I could do it, Bastion. Relax. Also, let's take one of these. How many more waves do we have of this? Okay, that's good. For me to complete this portion of the ritual. Portion? There's more portions? Apparently one more portion. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Hello, guys. What was that? Nothing at all. Nothing that pertains... Of any value to me. How far is this? Not far at all. We're actually almost there. Oh, okay, so it's got to be up here for sure. Because it looks exactly the same as the one before. So let's go over here and perform this portion of the ritual while we defend. Get ready to end you? Let's go. Okay, I really thought... I really thought they were going to come down. Maybe if I get it just right. Except in this situation, of course. Let's get back. I need this recovery. No, I won't let you harm my children. Is that... Was that the lady? Oh, this is her. Is it? Yeah, it is. I kind of feel a little bad, though. I'm not gonna lie. Blessed Greatsword. Good job. You held them back long enough for me to complete this portion of the ritual. I'm just gonna destroy it. There's more portions of the freaking ritual? 
Vanis. I should have just sighted to the damn vampire. I swear. Whoops, wrong one. Companion's boots. Augmented. No, thank you. Hello. I need to be careful before I go completely the wrong way like I almost did for a quick second there until I caught myself and decided to turn around. I need to explain the next steps to you. Okay. We can't afford for anything to go wrong. Okay, so then what is it? Nice work out there. Now that we've prepared all of the spell components, I can finish performing the ritual. The threat these vampires pose will soon be over. What do you need me to do? The black blood flowing from the Harvest Heart binds the vampires to Molog Ball. But it also gives us a connection we can take advantage of. While I provide the power to destroy the minds of the vampires, you must sever the connection to Molog Ball. How do I do that? Find the Lord of Schemes finding totems and destroy them. They're spaced evenly around the Harvest Heart. As each totem breaks, the vampires will be separated from Molag Ball and the energy of my spell will flow into them, wiping their minds clean. Okay. So there's how many? One, two, three, four, five. Do we just... Okay, yeah. It, it might actually be simple. You don't see anything. She didn't see anything. Okay, this might be extremely simple if I could just sneak my way all the way across. Oh, this one might be tough. Or not. Come on. Stay quiet. Dude, we're like the sneak masters in this situation. Come on, buddy. Wait, was that every that was everything? That was easy. Just destroy? He literally looks like he's trying to take a turd. Now what? Help Banis complete. Okay, return. Okay, watch the ritual. The harvest heart is destroyed. <clears throat> so then we did it. These rituals are not very exciting. They're kind of anticlimactic. All this preparation that went into this spell, and it was nothing glorious. You did an excellent job. Thanks to you, I was able to complete the ritual and end the vampiric threat once and for all. So now our forces can freely move through the orchard? Yes. Thanks to your efforts and my remarkable magical talents, we've turned these vampires into mindless beasts. They won't give us any more trouble. This brings us one step closer to the planar vortex and ending the plane meld. Good to know. And of course, should have known that. Uh another successful mission, but we're not finished yet. Do you have a quest for me? Just the person I was looking for. King Dina is rallying our forces near the Reaver Citadel. Okay. Uh we're ready to make our next assault then. Yes. King Dina and our forces are preparing to attack the Reaver Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you. I noticed a strange shipyard to the east and a red guard settlement to the west. Well, tell me about the Reaver Citadel. It's Molag Bol's last line of defense before we reach his inner sanctum, and it's certainly his most powerful. The Dramora station there has turned it into a heavily fortified city. And King Dinar are ready to move against it? Not quite, but soon. <coughs> He's waiting for you and a few of the others to meet up with him. They're gathering on the land bridge just to the north. I'm going to head in that direction as soon as we're done here. So tell me about this shipyard. It was the strangest sight. More shipwrecks than a shipyard, really. It was as if they just fell out of the sky. And there was an awful lot of them. Did you notice anything else? 
other than a massive graveyard of ships of various designs spread across the valley to the east of here? No, not really. Okay, well then, a Redguard settlement, you say? What's this Redguard settlement doing here? No, I doubt it's an actual settlement. That's just what the architecture reminded me of. I wasn't able to get too close, but I swear I heard music coming from that direction. What kind of music? You know, it sounded very festive to me. Isn't that strange, in a place like this? What could any of these souls shriven have to be happy about? That is weird. So... Where's the next part of the mission then? All I have is the Stibbins quest. So, I'm assuming that's the Red Guard settlement. And then ship? Reaver Citadel. So, we have... Okay, well, let's go ahead and continue on to the next portion of our quest then.